Jordan River Anderson was a young boy born on October 22nd, 1999 and passed away February 2nd, 2005. He was a young boy from Norway House Cree Nation in Manitoba, born with multiple disabilities. These disabilities required him to be in the hospital for the first few years of his life. He passed away from the provincial and federal government of Canada not agreeing on who would pay for the treatment. The reason for this is because for most First Nations children, the service is not provided until one of the two governments determines who will pay for it, and the length of the dispute cost Jordan his life and passed away at the young age of five. Jordan's passing started a movement to uphold human rights for all First Nations children throughout Canada, with the principle being called Jordan's Principle. In 2007, the House of Commons passed Jordan's Principle in memory of him. The principle promised that First Nations children would get the products, services, and supports that they need when they need them in a timely manner so no one would have to pass away such as Jordan did. Jordan's principle applies to all First Nations children, regardless of whether they live on and off reserve, and it is not limited to children with disabilities. Services covered by Jordan's principle include, but are not limited to, mobility aids, wheelchair ramps, services for elders, assessments and screenings, medical supplies and equipment, mental health services, social work, land-based activities, respite care, personal support workers, specialized programs based on cultural beliefs and practices, school supplies, tutoring services, teaching assistance, psychoeducational assessments, and assistive technology and electronics. While everything may seem fine, in 2016, an alleged breach of the Canadian Human Rights Act that the Government of Canada improperly implemented Jordan's principle which resulted in discrimination against First Nations children and youth on the basis of race and national ethnic origin. This resulted in ordering the government to cease applying its narrow definition of Jordan's principle and to take measures immediately into implementing the full meaning and scope of Jordan's principle. The tribunal specified that Jordan's principle applies to all First Nations children, not only to those on reserves or not only those with disabilities and those who present with a discrete short-term issue. Canada was then ordered to apply Jordan's principle to all First Nations children under local age of majority living on and off reserve, applying Jordan's principle based on the needs of the child, not just what is typically available to other children, which would be the normative standard of care, and ensuring that administrative procedures do not delay service provision. The tribunal also ordered Canada to follow specific time frames when making a determination on a request. Individual cases, if they are urgent, must be done within 12 hours and non-urgent within 48 hours. Group cases, if urgent, within 48 hours and if non-urgent, within one week. In 2023, Jordan's principle continues to provide services to Indigenous youth all across Canada and continuing to improve the lives of Indigenous children today. Was the case of Jordan Anderson caused by racial discrimination against Indigenous children? It is fairly clear to say, yes, it absolutely is. And while it did take a death to push the movement into the mainstream, Jordan Anderson's legacy will live on forever within Jordan's principle as it has continued to impact Canada in a great way ever since. If you would like to know more about Jordan Anderson, there is a documentary titled Jordan River Anderson, The Messenger, directed by Alanis Obamsawin, one of the most critically acclaimed Indigenous film directors. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to know more about Indigenous peoples in Canada, feel free to click on any of the other videos provided on the Keenanau website. Thank you.